Okay, so in the last video we went over how to make this uh, XML script. We didn't go over how to make it, but what this does. And in this video I'm going to show you how to use this XML file in, a, in actually a useful manner. Um, I found out it was actually pretty difficult to use it. So there's two ways to use this XML parsing file. Okay, One, straight PHP. As in when your PHP page loads, it goes through, grabs the XML source, spits out the data how you want it. Two, let the page load, and then use Ajax. Let's jump into the PHP way and show you how that's done. That's actually a little bit harder. So first thing that we need to do is, since this is PHP is going to be, um, uh, since this is going to be loaded, we don't need to, you know, we don't need to do those variables at all. Um, we don't need to post any variables. Uh, I created, I'm going to create this new show HTML variable um, just to make it easy on you guys, you know, so you can show the HTML or not show the HTML. Okay, and then that's all we need for the top now. And we need to edit the end element. Uh, I'm going to split the top and the bottom. The top globals are going to be globals that you don't need to touch, and these are going to be ones that you may touch, as in these are the tags that you'll be parsing. So to the top here, we need to add that show HTML, and we also need a new variable that's going to be created called outer data. And actually, I didn't uh, erase it from my last one. It's it's uh, declared right here is outer data. Okay, and I'm going to explain that in a minute. We'll have outer data and inner data. Okay, before we just had this echo description, and uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do if show HTML else. Okay, in the if, uh, let's do the title, variable title equals HTML special cars. And I explained this in the last video. Basically, this will give you the HTML, okay, of whatever is given to you. So it'll make sure it's parses HTML. I'm not going to bore you uh, with me typing the rest of them. So there's those. And then you're going to do for not HTML title equals strip tags title. Okay? So you get the idea. If there's no HTML, we'll just go ahead and do that. And I'll paste these in so you don't have to watch me type them again. Okay? Now we need to store the data. Okay? So we are going to create a new variable, okay, called inner data. Okay. So inner data is going to be an array. And that array, right for this example, I'm only going to deal with the link. Okay, because I'm actually going to use it. And the only purpose I'm going to have is the link. So yes, I have these four to play with, but I'm only going to play with the link. So I'm going to store this as link, okay? So inner data, the, um, the index link, okay? And that's going to be equal to whatever link is. See, now down after this giant if here, I can just type in link, and it'll be whatever I wanted it to be as specified in the top. So inner data equals link, okay? And then outer data, okay, outer data, is going to be, and actually, uh, the only reason I have inner data and outer data is because I'm going to be using this script for two different purposes, so just bear with me. Outer data, I'm going to give it a name, data, dot, and then the counter. This counter is, is actually counting every loop, okay? So I want this outer data array to be different. Outer data, and that's going to be equal to whatever inner data was, okay? So inner data is an array, okay? So we could do this. You could do, um, you know, title, title. So, you, so I'm basically forming an array of the data. Okay, I'm only doing title for now. So I know it's an array, but it, it only it's, only has one thing, but it's an array for a purpose because you may need it in an array. Okay, once we have that done, okay, this script is going to be called from the home page. So we need to make this script execute when the page is loaded. So right now, this will just get loaded whenever, but we don't need it to do that. We need to load at a specific point. So let's wrap this main chunk here. This is the main chunk of, of you know, calling all the functions. Let's wrap this in a single function, and that function <clears throat> is, I'm going to call it XML start, and that's going to take in two parameters, which is going to be uh, how many to show, 
and what the feet is. And the reason I'm using these double letters is because uh, it'll because I need to set the variables because here's feed and show is somewhere around here. Actually, it's going to be global. Okay. So after we do that, we actually need to declare the global variables and outer data. We're going to need outer data. Okay, because that's the variable we're going to return. And then show and then feed are going to be our globals. So we need our uh, variables that we passed in to be set to this and this. They won't get set automatically. We have to do it. So show equals show and feed equals feed. OK, see what's happening? Taking these in, they're globals. And I'll just set them here. OK, obviously, since they're globals, I don't really have to send them in as parameters, but I'm going to be passing this in from a separate file. OK, so just for organizational purposes. And then we have to actually close that function. OK, now, uh, sorry for hitting the mic. Now what we need to do is we need to loop. Well, we need to spit out the data. So we'll loop in a minute. But let's, this is, this, after the while loop, we need this to happen. After all the data has been processed, which is here, this spot. After data goes here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get uh, the link. So that's going to be vid equals, okay. Now we're going to have outer data, okay, and then we call it data dot, okay, actually, that's why I had it in the for loop. We do need it in the for loop because we need to know how many you're showing. So we're going to throw that for loop for i equals zero i is less than show i plus plus okay so you see what's happening i'm going to run this as many times as i have videos so we're going to we're now that we've indexed them we're going to do data dot i okay now remember outer data is an array of arrays so there's another index that we need and we called it link okay if that's confusing sorry <laughs> um, don't know how to explain it any better except that you know we stored this as an array and then to this index we store that array so it's an array so outer data is an array of arrays okay and the reason we're doing that is because you're gonna have multiple posts each with four pieces of information so you need to have an array and arrays Okay, when we do this with, J, with uh, jQuery and Ajax, we'll do an array of JSON objects. So, link, and that's going to give us a video, and then we need to get the, the actual link from that. So that's going to give us HTTP colon double slash www.youtube.com slash v, or actually slash watch slash v slash blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's going to give us a bunch of crap. So we need to parse that data out. So we need to get the link, and that's going to be a substring. Okay, substring taking in the string video, right, and we want the string position, okay, of the video to the equal sign, okay, and uh, let me see if I can pull in a YouTube video here, uh, local host, let's see, uh, do, 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 do. I know it's broken, let's see if I can pull in YouTube, optical effects YouTube channel, just to show you what the embed looks like. Okay, so ignore that. So if we take a look at the, uh, yeah, the RSS feed. So this is the link that we get. Let me go back to the code here. So this is the code, this is the link that vid, vid is going to be equal to something like this. So we want to actually get what's after the equal sign. So we want to get to the vid, right? Okay. And then that's going to give us, that's going to include the equal sign, so we need a plus one. And then we want to substring, so the, the index of the equal sign, plus one, so after the equal sign, to the length of the whole string. So that's going to be string, ling, right, and then vid. Okay, and I think, close it off again. Basically, it's giving me this part. This line right here just extracts the video ID. That's all it does. Okay, I know it's long, but that's all it does is give me this from this okay so now that we have that as our link we actually just need to write out uh, the embed script and I'm gonna spare you that and just paste it in I know it's long basically embed source equals 